In early June 2017, I joined the staff of Bardsley Bird and Field Observatory on their annual expedition to the Gwilin Islands just off Aberdaran to ring, record and monitor the seabird populations there. So we've arrived on the Gwilins and we're just about to head off and try bringing some shag chicks whilst Liam and Ephraim count the greater blackback gulls on the opposite island now. Fitting birds with lightweight rings is a valuable scientific procedure that allows us to work out how old birds can live for and where they go, amongst other things. The ringing itself causes minimal disturbance to the birds and is done under a specialised licence by qualified researchers. So how have we been getting on then? Not too bad, we've been ringing a good number of shag and a few great black back gulls here and there, a few race bills as well. Yeah, worrying decline in the great black backs though, we've only found 35 nest platforms this year when it should be 50 to 60 at least on this island. So we've been on the island for about five hours, six hours. We've finished all our ringing and all the seabird sensors for this year. And we're about to be picked up by Colin. Uh, it's been a good trip. Um, I think we've done pretty much all we need to. Lots of gold chicks, lots of shag chicks, and uh, lots of puffins. With our notebooks full of the day's counts, our arms scratched from the more aggressive seabirds and our clothes reeking of guano, we boarded Bentley 3 and headed back to Bardsey. The figures for breeding seabirds gave a bit of a mixed picture for this year's season. The count of some 35 greater blackback gull pairs is down significantly on 70 pairs in 2016 and 92 in 2015. Shags and cormorants continue a worrying long-term decline with just 40 shag nests this year compared to 95 in 2008 and 12 cormorant nests compared to 66 in 2007. 
Herring gulls were the only species to have a better year than usual, with 155 nests compared to 123 last year. And we're back.